Hey guys, what's up? Sterling here, and welcome back to my Super Mario 64 Let's Play. Last time we got through uh, Cool Cool Mountain, which was one of my least favorite worlds of the game. And now we are going to continue on with the last world of the first floor of the castle, and that is uh, Big Boo's Haunt. So let's get right to it. <clears throat> get inside this cage, and here we go. First level is Go on a Ghost Hunt. All right. Come on in here, hey, hey, hey. All right. It's a shame that we're not playing this level in October because it would fit so well. All right, so with this level, you have to uh, just go through each door and kill some ghosts. And that's it. I need to remember where these ghosts are at. Oh, shit, and watch out for those chairs. Oh, there's one. Don't die. He he he. Can you get out of here alive? Ghost, don't die. He he he. Can you get out of here alive? All right, I'm not going to read that again. I thought that was going to say something different. All right. And this level's definitely or this world, not level. Um this world is definitely easy to get uh a hundred coins, so we shouldn't have any problems with it. And there we go. if we fall down, we don't die. We end up uh, at that merry-go-round place. Can I kill the ghost? There we go. <laughs> he was like right behind the fence thing. Alright. Boom! Here comes the master of mischief. The tower of terror, the big boo. Wah ha ha ha. Alright. So we killed all the ghosts and now here's the big ass boo. Which, uh, just yeah, ground pound them, and you can't look at them. And there we go. There's a star. Pretty easy. And there is uh, uh, one star that we can't get because we have to uh, get the vanish cap. So that will be done uh, later on, or that'll be done uh, after we get uh, after we defeat Bowser. So yeah. All right, continue and don't save. And I saw you were looking at me. Thought you were just gonna get away, being sneaky. Boom. All right. <clears throat> Next level is Ride Big Boo's Merry-Go-Round. All right, this one is kind of an interesting one. This time we go in like this garage, or not garage, the shed type area. Fall down, ground pound so we don't take damage. When I first played this when I was a little kid, I was, I would always get goosebumps because I never knew like what was going to come around. Thankfully, those days are over. All right, so similar to mission one, we just have to kill ghosts and wait for uh, a big ghost to pop up. That's all this mission consists of for this task. I like to call them missions. I believe this is the last ghost. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh shit, watch out for the fire! There we go. Come out, big man. some uh, water in this video all right and that's a thing uh hold on a minute let me see what the next level is it is c 
secret of the haunted book. So this one's easy. Um, me and Springwood Elm Street were talking about this the other day. People complain that like he was like drinking and eating in his videos, and I just think that's a really dumb thing to complain about because you know, like some people just like to just pass the time by doing that. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. I I do it in my streams. And uh, no one seems to give a shit, so the fact that people argue about that is pretty dumb. Oh, come on. One, two, three. Okay. Open sesame and give me that shiny ass star. Alright. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to kill that ghost again boom I'm gonna do that every time I exit the level boom killing ghosts is pretty fun in this game to be honest seek the eight red coins and we might as well do the 100 coin mission or get the 100 coin star as well this is a better camera angle so I can see. Because when it's like this, it's on the, on the fucking ground, but I like to have it above the ground. Alright, so we get three coins by killing these spiders. What's in here? Oh, a lot of coins. Ten coins to be exact. Alright, and what is in here? Some ghosts. I believe that's everything that is uh, in this area. Oh, there's a spider right there. Come here. Boom. Okay. And this box, oh yeah, these boxes can be real annoying. Just watch what happens. Bounce all over the fucking place. That can be really, really irritating when you're uh, in other levels. Depending on where you're bouncing, yeah, it can get really annoying. Alright, now let's go inside the mansion. And uh, this piano is the scariest fucking thing in this whole game. Be extremely... Extremely quiet. Ah! Oh shit! <laughs> that actually really scared me. Oh my god. <laughs> that piano is very fucking scary. Get away from it. That has always made me very uh, scared when I was a child. <laughs> And you do get some good coins from these uh, objects that fly at you, like that book that I killed. So definitely kill those. Right, more ghosts. Kill this eyeball. Just run around it. Alright. There's that. take this way no I'll take the other way I'll just backtrack a little bit because I don't like the I don't trust those fucking that bridge so I don't want to fall into the merry-go-round area and then go here and kill the ghost all right yeah you do get a pretty good chunk of coins in this world I kind of forgot what door leads to what. Uh, this, oh, that leads to the outside of the library. That door is to the library. This one is, oh, above where the eyeball was. There's a red coin. And 
There's another eyeball. Let's run around it. There we go. Give me that blue coin. And there's a red coin under here and here. Yep, I remember that pretty good. Like I said, there is a lot of things that I do remember from this game, but then there's a lot of things that I forgot about. So, and then the last red coin is right there. And we can't see the star. And uh, before we do get that star, let's just uh, get some more coins. The remainder of the coins are right here. Five ninety, ninety-five, one hundred, a solid one hundred. Nice job, well done. No, I do not want to save. All right, um, and the star is outside. It is right here. Right, and I believe there's one more star that we can do for this world. All right, I'm gonna kill that ghost because it thinks it's clever. Boom! All right, what's the last mission we can do? Big Boo's balcony. Yeah, the next star involves uh, the Vanish Cap, so we cannot do that yet. We need to uh, unlock the second floor to do it. Alright. And this level actually is easy. Or this mission is easy. But getting the star is a pain in the ass. So it's easy to complete the mission, but to get the star is a pain in the ass. And you'll see what I mean in just a bit. Yeah, here's Big Boo himself. He's fatter than ever. <laughs> but he does shrink down when you defeat him, which is good. <laughs> so yeah, the star is up there. And to get to it is such a pain in the ass. Because you gotta long jump over here. You can't really see unless you do this. But the fucking camera sucks so bad when you're in Mario mode. When you're in Lakitu mode... You're doing this. So, hold on, let me just. All right. Get a running start, run up here, there we go. I've always struggled with that. It's been just so annoying. All right, but at least we got it. All right, so now we are done with Big Boo's Haunt. And uh, it is now time to finally face the first Bowser, and we will be doing that in the next video, so the next part will be pretty short. Um, there's three Bowser worlds, so each of the Bowser worlds will have their own video. Um, so we've gotten pretty much all of the stars on the first floor. Um, we gotta get the Jolly Roger Bay one once we get the Metal Cap, and then the Big Boost Haunt one once we get the... Uh, Vanish Cap. So, in the next part, we will be facing the very first Bowser boss. Reacting to the star power, the door slowly opens. Alright, so, in the next part, face Bowser. Hope you guys enjoyed this part. Stay tuned for the first Bowser fight in the next part. See you guys later. Bye-bye.